Hello there, fellow summers. Mad Dog HT here. We're going back into 7.3.2. This is my fifth path going around the clock here. We're going over to nine o'clock path. And this one has um, some interesting notes. It's got this cage rattler, skill attackers. If you hit into their block, you have a 50% chance to passively stun them. Stun chance is increased by 10% for every five hits. So if I get to 25 hits, that's times five. I should have a 100% chance to stun. And then every 15 hits, no, every 15 seconds, we're switching back between this charge up and overdrive. While in charge up, hitting the defender's block inflicts a shock. And while in overcharge, all the defenders are attacks are in block mode. So I think if you start off, if you hit into their block, you're going to get shocked back. Uh, when it switches, they'll be fully unblockable, but then you can hit into their block without getting shocked. Um, the defenders is stun vulnerability. Shred and parade. Whatever that is. Um, each time the attacker is inflicted with any debuff, the defender gains a fury. Okay. And then limber. And we got some six star shards on this. Um, I'm going to try to go in with Aegon. Um, I'm not sure. I'm guessing he starts with the shock mode and then switches to unblockable. I'm hoping I can get Aegon kind of built up. It's got limber, so I don't. Yeah, so it looks like if I hit into his block right now, um, I will get shocked. I'm not gonna try to find out quite yet. And now I can hit into his sh block, okay. All right, you gonna throw, there we go. I guess I probably should save that for a stun. And I'm assuming once Aegon's all built up enough to where the tenacity <clears throat> kicks in a lot, I could probably just hit into the block. So right now I can hit into his block. If he backs up. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Under the stun. Let's get some more combo. I think Mole Man is going to be really solid for this. Simply because he's shock immune and he's a skill attacker. Limbers in full force. Okay, just building up some combo right now to bank. There we go. Big damage. Alright, yeah, there's the shock. He was almost dead, so should be able to get that off. Get off the tenacity of that. Um, now, this one I was a little bit concerned with, because if I go with Aegon, okay. But I'm going to get lots of buffs. I don't want to give him buffs because he's going to get lots of power gain. If I go in with Mole Man, he can take my unstoppables. It's kind of the same 
thing with with Kingpin, but I think I'm gonna try Kingpin because I'll see who else we have on this. Yeah, let me just try Kingpin for this one. I did bring in thing just in case this goes bad. I do have Hood on the team. So, yeah, this should work pretty good simply because I can shrug off those shocks immediately. So far, so good. Very nice. Let's see if I can't. Don't want to. No, dang. Don't want to hit the unstop his belly bump because he'll. If I have with one of those karmas up, bad karmas, it will. Um, give it to him. <clears throat> no. but that's okay. Got... Hmm. We got this Joe Fix It now. I'm going to bring in Aegon simply because i got to be careful around his special one if it's fully unblockable. Wait, what? Oh, shoot. I guess I have to have a combo in the match. Holy crap. So I want to push him to special one here. paying attention to I need a combo within the match not a combo with my persistent charges <clears throat> all right for this one I'm gonna go in with mole man so I have to deal with the auto block and I can basically hit whenever because I'm shock immune so this should go pretty well See if we can't get into Frenzy. Mm. Just lost my combo. <clears throat> yeah. What the heck? I'm not able 
the dash back. Alright, he's fully unblockable. Boom. Okay, that's a nice header right there. Boom. <sighs> I thought I was gonna stun him. Didn't have enough combo. Definitely not clean. This is not clean. So stupid. Um, Alright, let's go in with Aegon. Let's try to get the combo up with just the stun at the beginning. Regular stuns. Oh, he's got the power gain. I forgot about his... Um, Heimdall Awakened. I don't think I have Awakened as a 5 star or a 6 star. Let's get some combo. Alright, so now I should have 100% chance. have enough tenacity to deal with this guy. Come on, throw your specialists. There we go. Alright, that did it. Got my mole man, my mole god. <clears throat> Ruler of the underworld. All right, let's go. Gladiator Hulk, I'm gonna go in with... I don't wanna throw special ones. All right, no special ones. I'll be triggering face me. Alright, we're gonna build up a combo. Kind of a fun node. Scarlet Witch would love to get her. 
but I'm not gonna get her while she's in the sigil. All right. Sig two hundred. Let's go with Kingpin again. Let's build up some combo. So yeah, definitely build up some combo at the beginning. And then go to town. Alright, that pass not bad. Nice little amount of six star shards. Now, who to fight? Um, hmm. I'm trying to think of who I would bring in for Old Man Logan or Cosmic Ghost Rider. Bring in Magic or Cosmic Ghost Rider. Got that last path left. Let's go with. Let's go look at our chance. We're gonna do one of these fights. <laughs> Who to bring in? Sunspot? Spot should work for Old Man Logan. Let's try it. This has Lazarus, Arrogance, Lionheart, Bubble Shields, Return Policy. Yeah, Sunspot should be able to do that. Gonna have to get to special three a couple times, probably. We'll see. Lucky. 
Ah, I didn't, I wasn't managing the bubble shield. Uh, and there goes my incinerates. My flames, let's go. One, two, three, altar. All right, let's build back up my shield. My shield, my incinerates. <clears throat> Altered. And that should do it. No? Okay. There we go. That's a pretty easy fight. So there's that path, skill rattler. Not too bad. Um, hopefully it gave you a few ideas of how that mechanism works with the node. Get a pretty decent benefit from it with using skill attackers. Thanks for watching, fellas, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.